Today, we're going to talk about uh, how Trump has issued another executive order stopping evictions and for the rest of the year. His executive order on the payroll tax cut will affect 1.3 million federal employees starting this month. And how Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin testified before Congress and said that bipartisan agreement should be reached for the next stimulus package. COVID cases in the United States are back on the rise with more information on that later on in the video. And welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 2nd, 2020. I am Russ and let's have some fun starting this one here. President Trump issued an executive order to assist renters. The order did not, but that order did not basically stop the evictions. As we all know, when he issued that executive order for eviction halts, we used to have people going out there getting evicted because it basically had no foundation in law to actually have courts be able to do anything to stop this. Well, the Trump administration has ordered a ordered a eviction stop as of yesterday to stop all landlords from evicting tenants for the rest of the year so basically uh, you are you're protected what it is is it says that you're protected if you're an individual that makes ninety nine thousand dollars a year or less or if you're a married couple that makes uh, under one hundred ninety eight thousand dollars a year or less uh, excuse me if, if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year I think you should be able to pay your rent if you're paying rent as long as you're not living in like a couple thousand dollar unit but that's a different story to qualify you must sign a statement saying you cannot pay rent due to COVID-19 related hardship and then you also must give this written affidavit or documentation hold on here I got notes. I got a lot of notes. Then you must present the signed declaration to your landlord. For landlords to disobey this act, they'd get criminal charges, which could in, which could involve a hundred thousand dollar fine or up to one year in prison. The landlord association is actually legally challenging challenging this order, saying that let's see here. That most of the rent, most of the renting places are mom and pop landlords, with six to twelve to twenty properties, that cannot afford to pay for their rent, for all the, their uh, properties, if all the tenants stop paying the rent. And it is estimated that twenty million Americans would have been evicted, at the end of September. Because at the end of this month, we have we have twenty million people out on the streets, and then plus the CDC is also agreeing with this as well. They're saying having all these people getting evicted go out in the streets could risk the America's health and spread COVID-19 even more. <coughs> and let's see, regarding our stimulus package, one of the one of the two uh, negotiating negotiators for the stimulus package, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, testified in front of Congress yesterday on the stimulus package. He said that more stimulus was needed to combat the effects of, co of coronavirus. Mnuchin said that the Republicans are willing to go as far as $1.5 trillion. But Pelosi is still standing firm at her $2.2 trillion. And like I said, on COVID news, we have the rise of COVID-19 going up. And as they have done a, they have done a poll for how bad it is, in our children, COVID-19 is going up by 17%. They've, they they base this decision on every 100 people that they tested that were children, every one of 100 children to get the 17%. So basically, let's see here. We got your, we basically got your landlord to, if you can get your uh, signed declaration to your landlord to say you cannot pay your rent for your COVID, these are COVID related, related hardship. Then you can get out of paying rent. And if they do evict you, you can basically, again, I don't know where you turn them in at, but you turn them in somewhere and they get fined up to $100,000 or one year in prison, 
which in other cases is really really hurtful for them because jail or one hundred thousand dollars is going to really really hurt their properties and the rental and can also make them cause properties and i do believe we actually got uh i'm sorry i gotta throw a few still shots in here i mean i'm sure everyone's already, already heard about nancy Pelosi and her haircut and how she's trying to say that it was a setup and then how the owner of the hair salon said well, well i don't think it's fair because all the other people can't go out but nancy Pelosi can come in here and get a haircut in san diego california and yet they have COVID 19 implicate uh not implications but COVID 19 um, protections in effect basically stating that businesses are still closed until further notice so allowing nancy Pelosi, which is really funny the business owner allowed nancy Pelosi to go in there to get a haircut and she wasn't even wearing a mask not not the owner nancy Pelosi was wearing a mask and this is one of the Democrats that is actually supposed to be representing the people that is actually holding out for a bigger chunk of the cake. Because, like I said, the Republicans are willing to go up to $1.5 trillion. Nancy Pelosi still wants that extra $700 billion. And we're basic, everyone else is basically hurting. And like I said, I, I, got a, I got a few pictures for you. I mean, I, I got one about how Trump is actually... If you guys heard about that 17-year-old that went into Kenosha and killed one individual and how basically he injured two others well i got a still shot of trump how the caption says how trump is defending this individual for his actions i also got a still shot of basically what the heels act included inside it so you guys can look at that i'll post that as well and let's see here what else do i got for you I think I got a few other pictures for you that actually involve our wonderful President Trump. Oh, besides he, besides a few of his videos getting knocked off Twitter because basically they were all taken out of context, and he was basically making a knock at Biden. But I will let you take a uh, look at these still shots, and if you like them, then sweet. If you don't, I am sorry I put them up there for you. But as far as liking if you actually like my video please hit that nice like button and give me a th big old fat thumbs up and if you want more of my content please hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so when i open my mouth you'll get notified <laughs> i'm sorry i have to think of good things with all, all the bad stuff that's going on outside lately i mean like i said i, I live in utah basically and I've been watching about how Utah is having a lot of wildfires all over and we're having a lot of evictions all over as well. And yet everywhere I look, I see help one to signs. People are saying that they're hiring, but yet no one's getting hired because I'm guessing businesses are too afraid to hire people at this present time, which really, really hurts our economy. And hopefully that will show our politicians that, you know what, Maybe you should stop spending $44 billion, wait, sorry, $41 billion on junk bonds every single day. And maybe you should start providing your uh, citizens with a $1,200 check every two weeks to compensate for the $41 billion you're spending daily on junk bonds, aka corporate bonds. Because every year they're spending about close to, well, now since the National Bank has opened up its doors and said that, the Fed and Steve Mnuchin have unlimited spending power. They're, uh, they were spending, I think, close to $800 billion a year on, on corporate bonds. Now they're spending twice that amount of corporate bonds. And think about it here. $1.6 trillion would provide Americans with easily close to three to three and a half additional stimulus checks. Or if you break it down per day, like I said, $41 billion a day, that would provide every American with a sec with a stimulus check every two weeks if they could just stop buying all these useless bonds. Because this is how it works with the politicians. The higher the stocks go, the worse the people are doing. The lower the stocks are going, the better the people are doing. So basically, if the stocks are doing good, they're going to keep pumping into it and buying them, making them better. Uh, at the cost of the people now if the stock market starts to suck then they'll start pumping more stimulus into the stock market not the people that's right it's been it's a proven fact that steve mnuchin and the feds are basically 
put more money into the stock market to keep it alive, but not enough, but not no money into the people to keep them alive. What good is a stock market without the people to support it? But I, like I said, I will put those pictures up on my side screen over here for you to look at. So as I'm talking, you can actually read them since you don't have to see my face when I'm talking if you can actually hear me. So I'll put I'll post them at towards the end of this video from where I started to, about the pictures till I'm all done, done showing them for you. So until then, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, or at least try to, because with COVID nineteen out there. Oh wait, that's one other thing. Um, about those three vaccines I told you about yesterday that uh, the FDA, uh, what is it? Uh, the commissioner of the FDA said he resigned for. Well, apparently the CDC, as well as the politicians, are trying to push uh, for a rush to market vaccine due out by November 1st of this year. I don't know about you guys, but I would not take a rush vaccine that has not been thoroughly clinically trialed to make sure that there is no adverse side effects or fatalities because of said vaccine. This is my opinion on the vaccine. I would appreciate your opinion as well. Because, like I said, your comments are wonderful, and I would like as many as I can get. And subscribers are even better, so please, if you like my content, like I said, please hit that subscribe button. But until next time, this is and always will be the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. As of August, as of September 2nd, 2020. That just shows I'm human. <laughs> you guys have an excellent Wednesday. Be safe.